this video gives a quick overview of the main features of Agile J Structure Views. It's a class diagram generator built to give Java programmers a better overview of the structure of the projects they work on used alongside browsing and editing of the code itself. It scales well for industrial sized projects and it retains its usefulness throughout the project life cycle. On a delivery level, it is a Java plugin for the Eclipse integrated development environment, i.e. the dominant programming language and the dominant IDE. It helps programmers in a number of ways, but the main areas are building and maintaining a better overview of the architecture, which is of course vital for onboarding new programmers, communicating programming interfaces to other programmers in other teams so that the parts all fit together as intended, and highlighting where the design can be improved and refactored so the overall quality of the software can be increased. Technical team leaders also find it useful for keeping a quick general overview of the direction the design is taking as a whole. Getting started. Once purchased, Agile J installs simply from within the Eclipse Update Manager and automatically updates itself from then on with each new release normally every couple of months. To activate the product you need a license key which we will send to you which you then cut and paste onto the Agile J preference page. Installation typically takes less than about five minutes. All you need to do to make your first class diagram is select File New Class Diagram and then click Finish. That will give you a blank canvas onto which you can start dragging classes from the Eclipse Package Explorer. Each class diagram is its own standalone lightweight file which can live anywhere in the workspace. Exploring classes. In order to make a meaningful contribution to a project, programmers typically have to invest a high proportion of their time gaining and maintaining familiarity with the way the existing systems work. Hence any assistance with visualizing the code promises benefits to the project in the form of heightened programmer productivity and the introduction of fewer defects resulting from architectural misunderstandings. But UML reverse engineering tools have historically failed in this role as code visualizer, leaving it to the user to figure out what to add to the class diagram next and how to navigate through the maze of interconnected parts. All that manual effort eats into the original time benefit of creating the class diagrams in the first place. So Agile J is strong on growing class diagrams by presenting related classes and offering to include them either on a class by class basis or at the point the class diagram is generated. Class diagrams can be grown by adding related classes from the inheritance hierarchy, the dependency graph, by the field types or the neighboring members of the same package. This approach yields a more meaningful picture of how related classes collaborate. For speed of exploring class diagrams, you can navigate around a class diagram with the keyboard arrows. And as the selection changes, so do the Eclipse views around it, which in turn offer additional implementation detail. You can also search for things by incremental search on any text visible on the class diagram. All classes are self-arranging, and lines are self-routing. Field lines emanate from the field responsible for them being there and you can right click on any line to navigate to the other end. If you double click on any class or member then you get taken straight to the code. All class diagram exploring integrates with the Eclipse viewing history and this means our class diagrams work well as a hub for navigating around the code. Because we are serving Java programmers first and foremost we don't hold back on showing Java specific information such as exceptions, qualified names, deprecation, Java containers, enums, static final and synchronized modifiers and annotations all of which play a significant role in the nature of the design but which quite perversely would be omitted were this to be a strict UML environment. Filters Class diagrams have earned themselves somewhat of a reputation for being difficult to make sense of, particularly when they are reverse engineered from industrial code. 
This is because the results are typically too detailed, have too many interconnecting lines and reveal little of the underlying structure of the design. Industrial code contains a lot of boilerplate detail, necessary to make the implementation hang together but largely irrelevant to the core design. Other UML tools offer just a few simple filters driven by primitive selection criteria, but this is nowhere near powerful enough to sort the noise from the key structural elements. We're very familiar with this problem and we've dedicated our efforts to tackle them head on. Only in AgileJ structure views do you find a comprehensive array of filters sensitive to Java conventions and design patterns. Our customers told us that they will use filters if they can be switched in and out easily and quickly and change the content on the screen instantly. And this is exactly what we've done. Accompanying every class diagram is a filter script editor. This editor works in exactly the same familiar way as all other code editing, with code completion and error highlighting. Programmers quickly latch on to the power of editing a script to control filtering which switches on and off the level of detail on display. So the point of the filters is not to perform a static filtering operation on each class diagram, but instead to manipulate the filters while examining the classes so as to bring different aspects of the design in and out of focus. Once this way of tweaking filters becomes second nature, then you may feel the need for additional filters tailored to your project, shaped for your coding conventions and configured for your libraries and frameworks. Well, all this is achievable too. You are free to go ahead and customise the filters or create your own from scratch. Or alternatively, you can tell us what you need and we will supply additional filters for you. Exporting. Customers tell us they would like to export class diagrams. We support three methods of export. Printing. We give you options to scale the printing by percentage or force the scaling to a given number of pages. PNG, which enjoys the advantage of being visible on the widest number of devices. And SVG, which results in relatively small files, even for very large class diagrams, and fits with the standards for embedding illustrations into other documents. Batching. Our aim is to maximise the availability of code structure visualisations to Java programmers and at the same time minimise the effort needed in their production. If they took too long to make, or too long to keep up to date, then there will be little point in having them. If the results were too cluttered to understand, then again, they would fail to add any value to the software development process. We include batching for the automation of the growing of class diagrams, ensuring the availability of an indexed, up-to-date collection ready for browsing. Filtering plays two roles in our approach to batching. The first role is in the filter script for each class diagram, which is the same as before, but which is primed according to the method of growing. The second role relates to how the class diagrams are grown. The filters are used to determine the seed classes and to select the related classes which populate the class diagram. To make a new batch, select File, New Batch. The wizard guides you through setting the filters for the seed and population for each method of growing. Batches can also export each class diagram at the same time if you wish. Then finally, the settings you selected are stored in a batch file. Batches can be run in the IDE or from the command line. Publishing. For convenience, it's often useful to be able to share class diagrams with project stakeholders and other interested parties. But who wants to have to install the IDE, check out all the code and then import the class diagrams in order to be able to browse them? Well, publishing makes this unnecessary as the class diagrams are made accessible from any HTML5 enabled browser. Note this is not just statically viewable, but navigable and filterable as in Eclipse. We have tested this entire batch and browse mechanism by putting tens of millions of lines of open source Java through our generators 
resulting in hundreds of thousands of insightful class diagrams used as reference material by the Java programming community. We truly want to increase the visibility of Java project structures for the benefit of your technical team. Greater visibility leads to deeper understanding, higher software quality and wider sharing of knowledge. Only AgileJ Structure Views delivers class diagrams dedicated to the needs of Java programmers for smarter code structure visualization.